Are you ready? Yeah, let's do a mysterious. Ready? Ooh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my name is Sarah and this is my beautiful husband, Alfred. Hey. We have a taste test for you from Del Taco. We got the Beyond Meat Taco. And we did get it vegan style because, like Del we said, Taco. I said Del Taco, didn't oh, I? Did. I don't know if you did. I'm sorry. Okay, if I said Taco Bell, I'm wrong. Del Taco. Um, but we got the Beyond Taco and we did get it vegan style because what's the point of trying vegan meat if you're going to just throw cheese on it, basically. So we got the Beyond Avocado Taco. We got two of them because we're going to try one each. And then we're going to split this and thank God we are because think this is huge. huge heavy this one is called the epic beyond california burger i mean bur burrito. burrito i am tongue-tied i mean i have a sip of my beer yet Ooh, <laughs> i got no pico and no sour cream obviously no sour cream but it comes with beans uh beyond meat and uh guacamole so we just got the pico de gallo off of it because my husband doesn't like tomatoes and once again, why put sour cream if you're going to eat vegan I, meat? And I asked you, how come you didn't get sour cream? And you explained to me, well, it's a vegan dish, and why why have all that if yeah. you're not going to? And she, she made a point. It's like, you know, when we dive in, we should just dive right in. For real. You know? Well, and my other thing is, I mean, if I planned this better, because we did do this on the whim, I could have bought vegan sour cream. That is no. a real product out there. Or I could have made it, but I don't have cashews, so that wasn't going down. I don't know if we look a little sweaty, it's because we like ordered the food and then rushed home so we can at least do a proper video of it having kind of at least being warm and not Yeah, cold, and not soggy fast or, food. or falling apart. Yeah. But Oh, and our beer. For what I am not a beer drinker, but for whatever reason, I try sour beer and I am obsessed. I've been craving it all week and <laughs> We went to Lee's Liquor out. Fault. Yeah. We went to Lee's Liquor out here. It's a big liquor store, discount liquor, and this actually just came out today. They received it today and I bought their last one. So I'm excited. I've never had it before. And then what do you have, babe? I discovered this about a week ago. This is called the Big Blue Van and it's uh I wanna say it's made by College Street Brew House. It's a blueberry here. vanilla wheat ale. Blueberry vanilla wheat. I really, really like it. I'm not a big uh, fruity kind of guy. Fruity and sugary stuff tend to hurt my stomach. So yeah. I got this on a whim for some reason, and I fell in love with it head over heels. So that's what I'll be drinking today. I'm excited. Uh, again, the, it's College Street Brew House. So, yeah, and I got it at uh, Lee's Liquor. Yep. Yeah. And then we're also going to be doing a husband and wife Q&A, I figured. We haven't done that yet, and maybe you guys want to get to know us a little bit more. Um, you see it's a new background. We are in my husband's office slash podcast room. Yeah. If you are curious, if you start seeing speakers, but this is his beautiful pop collection. Yeah. The video is not doing it justice. There's some in the back. Yeah. That is true. The videos never do my office justice. I don't know. Maybe after we're done, I'll do like a little film shot sure. of the whole room because yeah. I think you guys would like it. It's very... It's very nerd chic. <laughs> it is. I have a cool pop collection. I will say, being in the pop world, it, it is not like um, a high-end pop collection. You know, they're average kind of pops and some exclusives in there and everything, but... The pops aren't high dollar. Like, there's really high dollar pops and really high dollar collections. You're being very modest about your collection. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, when you know you got, what's you, out there. You got some parts where it's like double double row. I, I know. But it's like, you know, when you know what's out there and you're familiar, you kind of know. You know, it's like the more you know, the more you know that you don't know shit. True. Right? And it's kind of one of those things. So, well, anyways, before our food gets cold, let's, yeah. let's do a cheers. Cheers, baby. I love you. I, no bad sex. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. In our Las Cheers. Vegas mugs. In our Las Vegas cup. Mm. Ooh. You like it? Well, that's new to you. I already know if I'm going to... Talk about your Cosmic Sour Beer by Sam Adams. That's right. I kept saying Sam Adams but, and saying Sour, but I never said the name of it. It's Cosmic. Um, I actually have to say, I don't hate it. I like it. Compared to... I don't love it. So you've tried two sours. You had the Brooklyn Three. Sour... Well, this would be my third one. Okay, but before that, you had the Brooklyn Sour and the Blueberry Sour? Blueberry, it's... Um, Again, it, by College Street Brewhouse. I believe so. So, if I can find a picture of the one I'm talking about, I'll 
put it somewhere like boom right now <laughs> magic of youtube and um what would you say is your favorite out of the three that you've tried right now i have to try brooklyn one more time okay fair I, enough. I only had a, a few swigs off of yours yeah, yeah yeah fair enough but i would say it's probably tied between brooklyn and the this brand of the college street brew house yeah. college street brew house it was called blueberry cream or blueberry something sour and that one was delicious like I, I finished one can before you finished one yeah and that's not like me i'm not a big drinker i will but, say with, with this it's not an overpowered blueberry at all it's very subtle but it's there you can yeah. taste the blueberry and very slight vanilla I'm skipping you. But man, it is just so good. I, very refreshing. All right, let's do this. Let's dig in. No sauce, no nothing. I want to get a pure, pure virgin style. Oh my gosh, look at this avocado. I don't even do avocados. I do. I'm sorry, I didn't tell them to remove the tomato. Yeah. You don't really want the avocado? I don't really, to be honest with you. Why for me? Oh, that's better. And I'm going to take the tomatoes off. All right. Are you going to leave the lettuce? Yep. And no sauce, so I can get a... Cheers. Now, I have to admit, I have had the Beyond Burger Patties, but from the store, not from like a fast food place, so... And we ate at Del Taco, and then we ordered these to come home with, and... Yeah, um, my avocados are falling. I just had, um... We had chicken tacos, but I did have like a beef nacho, so I know what their ground beef mm -hmm. tastes like, and I will say... Um, immediately, it has the same consistency as the ground beef that's sold in our store. So it doesn't look or taste or not, I mean, look or feel the consistency. I think, I think, texture, I'm just what the word I'm looking for, yeah. is the same. The flavor is the same as well. I'm assuming they just use their same spice, just different product. Like meat choice, protein choice. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. I will say, I try. feel... No, I don't know if it's in my head. Probably because you're that type of person. But I feel like there is a slight difference. No. I don't want to say I'm defending you, but I probably am. God forbid. There is a slight different taste, but I do believe if you just didn't tell somebody that they were eating a vegan taco, I don't think they would know. Fair. Fair. My honest opinion. I mean, I we can tell the difference because we know. It, I think it's also a mind trick game. It could be in my head. But right I... Right Yeah. I'm eating yeah. the bottom of the taco just to have a... To get like the meat. I was going to try that hot sauce with it and see if... I'm actually not going to finish this because we're going to try that. And like you said, mm -hmm. we did eat. But... I do recommend it, especially if you just want something different. I think um, Sarah hit the head on the, the nail on the head. Um, if you were gonna feed this to somebody and not tell them, you gotta look. I don't think they would Thank know. Thank you. Oh. I don't think they would know at all. Okay. So this could be easily one of those, but ooh, that was a little spicy. A little spice on the back end of that. That's a little spicier than the regular meat that they have. I bet they. Eat, they I wonder if that's a overcompensation. It's weird that their ground beef would be that spicy, and it's an aftertaste spicy. Like as I'm talking and describing it, it just hit me. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe Beyond seasoned it for them. Mm. Because I've heard, don't quote me. That is this a good is, thing. I wonder if it all. Well, I'm sure it all. These <coughs> restaurants, like Del Taco, like these kids are pre mixing. Sorry, our, our Benito is joining the video. Yeah. Um. I've heard people that have already tried the Carl's Jr. Burger by Beyond Patty. Um, their burger, they said that the burger tastes different compared to buying it from the store. So if you've ever bought the Beyond Burger Patties from like Whole Foods or Smith's or wherever your store carries it, I hear it does taste different and that they're makes, thinner. Well, that makes sense. It has to be up to Burger King specifications. Like I think the whole goal... Carl's goal, Jr.'s. Yeah. I was thinking I had Whopper on a burger. I know. Well, they, we're going to actually try that soon. That's the Impossible Burger. I would think that with Carl's Jr., like, they still need to be up to Carl's Jr. specs. Like, they yeah. want it to taste like their regular burger. I don't think they want it to taste plant-based or anything, right? 
Well, isn't that not the whole goal? Is to come as close as possible, like this taco. Yeah, you could feed it to me. I'm not gonna know. Yeah, I mean that is the, well. I think beyond company out there in general is just trying to get you to eat less animals and more just protein in general. Mm-hmm. I mean. I am looking forward to the uh, Burger King taste test that we're going to do because I'm a fan of Whoppers. I'm a fan of Burger King. I have a guilty pleasure of McDonald's, but Burger King. Like, I just have a guilty pleasure of fast food yeah. all, all the way around. But uh, I'm kind of excited to try the regular Whopper and the Impossible. Is it Impossible or Beyond? It's Impossible. It's, uh, Burger King, it's Impossible Burger. And those are two different brands. Same kind yeah. of premise, but different brands. I want right? to say Impossible came out first, but it was only out on the East Coast for, like, a special restaurant, like, the restaurant came up with it, and it got very famous, and slowly, I they've made it to other, like, vegan restaurants. Now, I will say, I really like the fact that this um, plant-based burgers are... Oh, yeah, they're, um, I like how they're becoming a little bit more, main, or more mainstream. Like, they're finding its way into fast food restaurants. It, I remember my wife, Sarah, was a vegan for a while, mm-hmm. and it was a struggle to find something to eat when we would go out because I'm not a vegan. I, I literally had to diet of a 13-year-old, fast oh, wow. food, all that stuff. And uh, it's got french fries in there, huh? Cover your face, baby. Cover my face? Yep. <laughs> there we go. It focuses on the food. Oh. It's a, a little YouTube trick. But we did, uh, we struggled, right? I mean, because yeah. when we would go out and I would get this fast food and you had nothing to eat. And now, if they had this when you were a vegan... Well, I, I have tried the Beyond Patty. I bought it when I was vegan. It was out then. Yeah, but I had a fast food. <laughs> Only if we went to a fast food. Well, Denny's, but that was more of like a veggie yeah, patty. it's not. Like Burger King, Taco no. Bell, or Del Taco. Uh, everything. I eat. think Taco Bell has their own. Um, they might be impossible. No, Taco Bell doesn't have. So you just get a lot of it, just beans without cheese, and mm-hmm. add potatoes to everything. All right, well, before this gets too cold, cheers, baby. I'm excited for this. I'm going to go right on the French fries side. Well, let me go with the meat. I'm going middle. Okay. Off the muscle, this is better than a taco. Agreed. But it's the french fries. I don't know if it's... I don't care for their guac. I don't know if it's the guac or the meat. I'm, I'm not a big guac fan, never have been. I got a beat a bite of just the meat. I didn't want the potatoes to be overpowering like my first bite. The tacos are definitely spicier than the burrito meat. Mm-hmm. Now I'm wondering that does make okay. me think if they have different levels of spice prepackaged, you know, like meat, low, medium, and highs. Mm-hmm. When it comes to like spice level or something, I don't know, because there's a significant spice difference between the tacos and the and the burrito. So which one do you think is spicier? The tacos are spicier, for sure. Because that spice hit me right as I was talking after we got done with that last bite. I would agree with you, but I think the only reason why this one seems spicier is because there's... I was about to say papas. Potatoes. You think that's why it's taking the spice away a little bit? Most definitely. Because um, they don't put nothing on their potatoes. So, some of the spice would rub off the... And when she says potatoes, it's french fries. But you think the yeah. french fries is like cutting that spice down even though it's the same meat? Most definitely. Okay. Well, you are the chef in the fam. Um, with this one, though, I would say eliminate the guac, and if you're vegetarian, keep the sour cream, but I think I'm just not a fan of their guac. I'm a, fr- I like fresh guac. This probably came out of the bag, to be honest. Do you, like, do you really think they're back there mushy no. fresh avocados? No, no, But. Well, fresh avocados? Yeah, because the sign, didn't the sign say that? They oh, got yeah. them at the farm, and, and they even had a name of the, oh, of yeah. the girl who sliced them in the morning. Okay, maybe they just suck at making guac. Maybe I'm too picky. I don't know. I am picky when it comes to my avocados, I'll admit that. But. I don't know. I guess if you know somebody that works at Taco Bell, do they make their own guac in-house, or does that come Del pre- Taco. Or Del Taco. Does that come pre-packaged guac, and then they slice the avocados? Maybe fresh use, for just for slices? Maybe they use a seasoned packet. It's fresh avocados with a seasoned packet. I don't know. If we were, if I was still vegan and we were on a road trip, I would get this in a heartbeat. Mm. Like I wouldn't, if especially if I was hangry. Yeah. Like I, do you know who I'm excited? I'm excited for 
drunk vegans. One o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Drunk vegans. Drunk if, vegan food. I was about to corrupt it. I was like, fry an egg. Hey, man, vegans got to get drunk. You know, they got to get their swerve on. Vegans got, you know, to get their mouth I'm not on. mad at this. I'm not. And do you know what? This actually makes me really excited to try Carl's Vegan Jun munchies? I'm getting excited to try the Carl's Jr. and the Burger King. I'm more excited to try Burger King. I've never been a fan of Carl's Jr. I never even really heard of them till I came out here to Las Vegas. And when I tried them, I just was like, meh. I would nah, say, meh. I'm only more, I'm more excited to try Whopper 1 because we are more of a Burger King family. But... It's the Impossible Burger, and I've I knew about the Impossible Burger since I was vegan. Hmm. I'm gonna go grab me another beer, babe. You want me to take this while you get our questions ready? Yeah. So we'll be right back, and we're gonna start doing a Q and A, so you guys can get to know us. All right. But I definitely suggest. Would you eat it again? If like, if that I... was your own, if, the, if that was your only choice, like. If you yeah, had to be yeah, if I'm starving, it's my only choice of sustenance. Yes, yeah. But if like, I have a choice between a regular taco and a no, I'm getting the regular taco. If, but if you were home and one of your vegan friends came, I mean, you don't really know that many vegans, but I do. But if they came over and they're like, "Hey, I have this extra burrito. I know you're hungry. You want to eat it?" Sure. Okay, that's all I mean. So you proved my point. So it's good. Good enough. Yeah, it passed the Freddy enough. test. And one more thing, for those who are curious, two tacos, or what are they? Nope. The Beyond Avocado Tacos, for two of them, they are $4.98. For one, it's $2.49. And for the Epic Beyond California Burger, I mean burrito, it's $6.49. It's but expensive. That, it's because it's vegan meat. Literally, that's the only reason. If if it was more demanded, I guarantee you the prices will go down like everything else. But that bur in my opinion, that burrito is worth it. If you had literally seven dollars and you were starving, I think it would fill you up. You know, I bet you what made them tacos so expensive is these slices of avocado. Me, because I felt like the tacos were a little bit too much money too. Okay, your opinion. Yeah, just my opinion. Um, I'll try to do the nutrition facts on it, and if you're doing Weight Watchers, I'll let you know um, how many points it is at the end of the video. 